Good day, happy coders. Welcome back to Bugger Ray. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you're notified for next time I drop. In case you're wondering what Bugger Ray is about, this is a community whereby I'll be sharing the knowledge that I've gained throughout my study journey as a software engineer and the knowledge that I've gained in industry. So in this video, we'll be creating an SQL database for our to-do list application. So what to expect from the video? So first and foremost, we'll be going through a lucid chart diagram explaining uh, how our structure of our database is going to look like. And then the next step is us creating our database using my, uh, the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Then we'll also progress to the next step whereby we actually add tables to our database. Uh, after that has been done, we'll then establish the relationship between the tables that we have in this uh, to-do list application database. So now let's move to the first step where we'll actually be explaining the structure of our database. Right. This is our to-do application database uh, diagram. This is how our database is actually going to look like. So what we have is actually two tables. On the left over here, you'll see our user table. And on our right, we'll have our task table. Right. So in the user table, this is the table that's going to be responsible for storing our user data which is like your user name and password and actually if the user is active or not, right? And then we've got these flags here. So this PK flag actually indicates that the user ID is actually a primary key of the table, right? Then when we move to this uh, table on the right, we have um, the task table, which actually stores the actual task that the user will actually create right in their to-do list um, so in this table we also have this primary key uh, flag and then we also have this foreign key flag which is uh, the user id so the user id is actually uh, the one that um, establishes the relationship between the user table and the task table and then what we also have is the task title task description and so on and so on right and we also see here this representation of the relationship between the two tables uh, which is depicted by this line this indicates that we have a one to many relationship meaning that a single user can have many tasks in their actual to do uh, when they're actually using like their to do uh, application so with all that being said now let's move on to the next phase whereby we'll be opening up our microsoft sql server management studio and actually going about creating the database for our to-do list application all right now that we have opened our microsoft sql server management studio so we want to create our database. So how we go about doing that is clicking on the databases folder, uh, right click on that and click new database. So now we need to enter the name of our database. We're going to call that to do app database, right? And then just click on OK to save that. Now our database has been created, but that's not all. So the next uh, step is actually creating the tables that we need in our database, right? So how we go about doing that is opening up uh, this database app, uh, this to-do app database and go into the tables uh, folder, right click on that and say new table, right? So the first table that we're going to create over here is the user table. So we saw that in from the previous diagram, the Lucy chart diagram is that we have a user ID, which is of type integer, right? And then we've got username, which is type var char, right? And then this is going to be 225, 
And then we're going to have, um, let's just make the U a uh, capital U. Right, then we're going to have password, uh, which is also going to be a varchar. Uh, varchar. So, 225. That wasn't the way you spell it. So let me just copy this guy. Let me copy and just paste that there. Right, then we're gonna have this active field and we're gonna set that to an integer. Right? Uh, this active field will specify if the user is actually active or um, inactive, right? And then we're going to hit Control S to save. Then we'll call this our users table. Users table. Then hit save. So now, say now we want to change these guys because um, we don't want that to allow nouns. We don't want the username to allow nulls that or the active right so if we save we see that we're gonna get this uh, error right so how we go about fixing this is actually going to our tools then options and then in our design we'll just untick that prevent saving changes that require table recreation right so now if we hit control s we can now save those changes right so when we open this tables uh um folder over here we should see the user uh table if you don't just hit right click on that and refresh that folder and you are gonna see the users folder so the next one that we're gonna create right there is now the task um uh, uh, the task table so what we need is task id which is of type integer and then we're gonna need a ta uh, user id uh, this is actually gonna be the one that controls the relationship between the tables this is also an integer uh, we're gonna need the task uh, task uh, title task title this is gonna be varchar of 225 so this 225 actually specifies the number of characters that this uh, var uh, char can actually handle so we also gonna have a task description which is gonna be just text right and then what we also gonna have is this created uh, created date this is gonna be type date time uh, we're gonna have a scheduled date so the scheduled date will be also have a data type of date time and the completed date will also have a date time uh, data type right so we can save that as a tasks uh, tasks table right that's the name of our table but we need to also check so the task ID shouldn't uh, allow nulls because that should be a unique key that we always want for each row we're creating. The user ID shouldn't uh, allow nulls because that's the one that actually links the user table and uh, the actual um, task table. Task title shouldn't uh, be now because we need the task title. We also need the task description. The created date, you also need that. Uh, so scheduled date scheduled date can allow nulls because we could just not schedule a date uh, for uh, the completion of this specific task and then we also have this completed task uh, that can also be uh, it could allow nulls because uh, we might not know when we actually uh, or completed the task um, after we've just created the task right um so now we can just right click and save that right so now we heard uh through creating this table that the user id actually establishes the connection between or the relationship between the user table and the task table right but at this stage we don't have that relationship yet 
So as you can see, you can't see the task table. So what you need to do to actually see it is actually right click on that and hit refresh. Now we can see it see it right so how we uh, actually go about uh, making the relationship first and foremost what we'd first want to do is actually uh, specify our primary key for this uh, table how we do that is click on this task ID and right click there and set that as a primary key same goes with our user table so with user table oh the user table is open We'll click on user ID, right click and set that as the user ID, right? Uh, the primary key. So now we want to actually create uh, a diagram, right? To just easily um, help us with uh, establishing the relationship between the two tables. So how we do that is actually uh, right clicking on that database diagram and then just say new database diagram. We'll then select both the task and the users, right? And then we'd want to just close this. But before we actually establish like a relationship, we want to set uh, the user ID as a unique primary key, right? And we want this to be auto generated. We don't want us to actually uh, manually enter the next user ID when a user registers um, a new user right in our to-do list application so how we can uh, have an auto uh, generated uh, user ID we can right click on that table go to properties and then uh, there is this uh, front here called identity uh, specification we can open this and then come uh, here to this is identity you can double click it or you can just click on that and just choose yes right so now we can just save um, not yet let me just close that same thing applies here properties identity uh, specification double click on that and that's fine right so now what we then would want to do is actually uh, click here and we'd want to drag and drop this to this user ID, right? So what we want to have here is actually state that in our task uh, um, user and task, right? So our primary key in our task uh, in our task table task no I want to see something let me close this I was dragging the wrong one so I need to click on user ID and drag this to user ID like this so the user table has a primary key of user ID and the foreign key is here on our task uh, our table so that's what we want then we'll click OK. And then now we can see that if we just close this and actually extend that, we'll see that now there is actually a connection between the two tables, right? So we can now just save this and just say to do list diagram table or ERD. ERD so entity relation no database I think if I'm not mistaken uh, yes okay now that's safe um, so with all that being said like now we have actually created like our actual database and then uh, establish the connection so now if we actually want to see the data that's in the database is actually we would just right click on the user table and just hit select top thousand. We'll see that we have nothing on the database because we haven't even entered any information in that database. So we do here for task select top a thousand. We also see that there is nothing, no information stored yet as yet in our database. So yeah, with all that being said, please guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And 
peace.